Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought why not share with you guys a couple of different ways to style a coffee table. Now, to be honest with you, I don't believe there are any rules to this. At least I don't follow any rules. I kind of just switch it up and do things how I feel to do it. Personally for me, I think that is the art of expression and interior styling is doing something that represents you and what you like. And remember, this is a space, this is a design that you're gonna be seeing on a day-to-day, -day, nobody else. So it needs to be how you like it. So I wanna show you guys a couple of different ways that I'm thinking about leaving it. To be honest with you, I'm probably gonna be changing it every couple of weeks because that's what I do. I get bored and I change stuff. And you shouldn't feel bad for changing things, especially if you're not buying new things all the time. So you can use things that you already have, or if you'd like to purchase some of the things in this video, I will definitely leave links down below for you guys. I know having been someone that worked full time that getting around to doing those things in the house can often be the impossible task that you try to do on weekends, but then you wanna relax on a weekend. So I wanna give you guys a couple of really quick and easy styling tips, I guess, and just examples of what you can do to spruce up the center of your room um, or any other side table that you might have. This can apply to that as well. So let's get into it. I think I might do three looks, but we'll see. I may have more ideas. So you guys, this is how my coffee table has been styled since doing the renovation a few weeks ago. And I have loved this effective and quite luxurious vibe. Everything is quite flat, one level. I've even got an open coffee table book and a couple of things spread out. So I'm utilizing the whole space. <laughs> So as you'll see, I was deciding whether to keep this book, but I thought, no, I'll save it for a look later on. So the table's now empty and I'm going to start off with a tray. So I've got this whitewashed wooden tray that I've had for about a year and I'm going to use it as a center, adding in a dark black coffee table book for that contrast because everything is really white and airy on that table. So I also put a vase and flowers in the center of the tray, which I actually just stole from the hallway. I thought this works really well, especially because the vase is like a clear glass, so it's not too sharp in that area. I also add a candle, one of my favorite diptyque candles, and I'm also adding another ornamental candle with like a nice gold like interior. Absolutely love it because it's a candle, but it's also like an ornament. I realise that something looks like it's missing, so I go and pick up one of my diffusers and pop that in the front, which is also black, to tie in the look so it isn't just like one side's really white and one side's really black. So it's all about balance, but not being perfect. <laughs> Okay, so look number two, I am going in with a tray again, this time a gold vibrant one, but I'm putting it to the side. So I want to kind of play with like a two in one kind of look. So I'm looking around, seeing what I've got. And of course, a coffee table book has to be included. So I've gone with my Andrew Martin one that you guys know I'm obsessed with. Um, but this time it's going to be closed and I'm going to layer it with a Chanel book, I'm thinking. So adding in some ornaments and seeing what works, playing with a bit of height and different, you know, textures and colors. Of course, the black needs to remain in there because I love the pops of black around my living room. Playing with some height, I go in and use this candlestick holder and white candle from H&M Home and my gorgeous Tom Ford candle. And I love the packaging, so I keep it in there. Plus it's gold and brown, so it adds a different color onto the table. And then I go in and add my diptyque candle again with one of those stopper things that I love. I always forget the name of them, you guys. And a little bit of pampas to tie the whole look together. Doesn't have to be there, but I'm just a bit obsessed. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so look number three, I've decided to keep those coffee table books there, but play with the other side of the table. And this is not a tray, this is actually like a placemat that you use on a dining table that I've had for a few years. And I just love the like clean finish it gives. So I'm adding on my Rituals Diffuser, my Jo Malone candle, and the other ornamental candle that I showed you guys before. Playing with the height, I like a little bit of clutter sometimes when it comes to candles. So over on the coffee table books, I've add the little feather um, ornament that I use in the hallway and I've used the smaller vase and flowers from the bathroom but I'm not too sure about it so I go back and switch it to the previous flowers from the hallway there's a bit of symmetry going on which is always really nice to have <laughs> Okay, so look four is just a bit of switching things out, which I find super easy, especially when you start getting bored of some things and you just want to do a quick switch out, but you do like the look, but you want to update it. So I've gone in and used this vase and these dried like flowery things that are usually in my office, ended up moving it to the center, took a coffee table book off just to kind of clean up the look a bit more and it's a bit tidier, took one diffuser out and yeah, I'm just playing around with it. So look at number five then. I'm not even going to add some music, you guys. All I do is swap over these two vases. I take the black amazing vase from H&M Home and put it into the center, which I've never done before with the pampas in all its glory. And ta-da, there you have a whole new look by just swapping a vase. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so look number six, the final look. I'm thinking I want a bit more detail and clutter now. So I add the old Chanel book back along with the gold feather in the center. Looks really good, but I think I could do more with this look. I think something is missing. More detail, maybe a bit more greenery, a little bit more color, a little bit more height. Um, so these are just the things that go through my head when I am styling a little coffee table. And trust me, you guys, I change the looks all the time in one way or another. <laughs> see my dog decided to be part of the audience but I think it's a great time right now to tackle those little things in the house that you put off. So I hope you did enjoy this very different styling tips video. If you'd like to see more videos like this please do let me know in the comments down below. I would love your feedback. I would love any ideas that you have, any other things that you'd like me to style in a video like this. I want to help you guys, especially right now being at home. I want to give you guys those tips and those examples on what you can do in your home to make it a bit more homey and a bit more reflective of who you are right now. So if you did enjoy it, give this a like, give this a subscribe if you're new to my channel and leave your comment down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh, and share it because someone else might need some tips on styling their coffee table, right? Bye. Thank <laughs> you.